Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigblo here, welcome back to our video, so we're on the secondary account here and we're gonna go ahead and kill uh, my man Constantine, I don't even know what heroic this is, this is heroic 6, okay. We're gonna kill Constantine, but first gotta kill Dr. Face. I got cloaked and other than that, not really much. Also you can stun me with abilities, that's another thing that I maybe should be aware of. And maybe we should be looking out for Oh, another problem. I don't know who tanks super move because the Tana's probably gonna die if she tanks that. But yeah, we got. Oh, I forgot to show the artifacts. We got Dark Metal cards on Joker. This is my max class attention Lord Joker on the secondary account. I'm very proud of my man there. And the Tana's got Pop It at level 9, so there's still a chance it malfunction malfunctions. Okay, we, we actually activated infinite power, that's amazing. Got Dark Metal cards on uh, Lord Joker and got a level 7 Twin Blades. Oh boy, I hate this map so much, it's huge. It's gonna take me ages to push the enemy all the way to the corner, sadly. Okay, my boy Joker dealing some decent damage there. Only gonna think about doing Supernova whenever he's about to do his. Which is actually right now. More or less. Okay, Zatanna, good luck. Oh, she's alive, she's alive, and she didn't lose Poppet yet. Let's go. Let's go, let's get this man back to the corner. Yeah, this is actually great. I was fully expecting her to die there. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, one more Zatanna Titan, just to be safe here. Okay, there we go. Let's move on to killing Constantine. I don't even remember what mechanic he had, to be honest. Oh, he's got the curse thing where you start the fight with a very small amount of health, but if you do a, a special, you're gonna get a curse upon you, which revives you. But after you revive, you're no longer gonna be able to revive for a while, but you're gonna have some increased damage. Yeah, that doesn't really matter, we're just gonna use Batman on the Drowned. Okay, so here I have Batman on the Drowned with uh, God Killer. We got Robin King with Poppet, and we got John here. And actually, let's open up with John, because... Uh, if he acts up at the start of the fight, I don't want Batman the John being the one who dies, basically. But this should be easy. Okay, let's activate the Batman the John passive real quick. Okay, everything's going fine so far. We're gonna need to do a lot of third specials with Robin King until we reach all the percentage, all damage done, because this man's got the damage cap. Considering how not often this happens to Robin King, where he has to do so many third specials, damage cap is a lot less common than it used to be. And damage cap was also a weird thing, because when it was introduced, it was trying to counter things that are so less relevant than things that are strong right now, because King Kinflan Sakoman, back when the damage cap was introduced with Dawn of Apocalypse, and I think with, with League Raid 2 to an extent, it was trying to mitigate the percentage hull damage that King was able to do. Because they were like, oh, that's that's broken, that's that can't 
fly in, in soul raids that well or against every single boss at least and yeah look look where we're at now like what's the point of damage cap anymore i mean it doesn't really bother me that much but what's the point Probably I still have some percentage hold damage. Let's check. Let's check. Yes, still did have some. But yeah, that's gonna be it for my boy Constantine. He did not stand a chance. So let's take a look at the rewards we got for this one. And we got... Oh wow, Trost. That's garbage. Uh, let's move on. Okay, so against Boss Hawkman, I'm just gonna use Beast Boy with Puppet and not care about it, because this man is weird, I don't like fighting against him, and I say this a lot lately, but it's another very good example of, at some point, they start, they, they stopped caring how a character feels like to fight against, they're like, just, it does it feel good to, to use the character? Yeah. How about fighting him? Yeah, that doesn't matter. You, you, you're you never gonna fight him. Then another dude that probably has nothing to do with the previous dude is like, Oh, let's make Pokemon a, a raid boss. I mean, if you can't one-shot him, it's, it's for the most part fine. But this man's got some weird movements and maneuvers. That just annoy me. Also, we can just get super moved here. It's it's mostly fine. It's a tier one boss. Left. What what's it gonna do to me? Like what's it gonna do? Okay, we might as well super move here. Okay, super move me. Oh, that that is actually a lot of damage. I'm I'm often forgetting that I'm using a one year beast boy on this account. Okay, 40 kits. Let's try to keep this up and get some damage going. Honestly, we're not doing too well in terms of damage. This is a pretty damn slow start and it's... Uh, I was probably expecting more out of this because I was used to having higher level passive stats. But yeah, I don't know if we're killing these boys. Also, I don't know why, but kind of every single time a soul raid comes back, the, the melee count is somewhere in the middle, usually. And the secondary count is just one or two fights away from killing the final boss. I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. Or am I subconsciously? But yeah, we're, we're probably not killing this. Like, it's almost... It's past half the fight, and we're gonna deal a lot less damage in the last half of the fight than we did in the first one. But it's okay, we're probably gonna do enough damage to put him in cleanup range for the Batman Ninja team. And yeah, we still have uh, Raven Raiden to one one shot with them. And I'm gonna see what they do for the last themes. Or am I gonna. Nah, I'm not gonna kill him, but I'm probably gonna get a lot closer than I was expecting when going into this. Oh boy, it's a little bit of unlock there. Good thing we got Manta, because, I mean, we also got negative effects from Beast Boy. We would have been fine, but that man stayed for quite a bit with specials undisabled. Oh, it actually might be a close one. This might actually be the benchmark for Beast Boy. As far as how many passive sets you actually need. Nope, nope, nope. We're, we're, we're quite far away from killing him, actually. Eh, it's fine. Decent effort. Let's move on to the next fight. Okay, so here against my boy Batman, we're gonna go ahead and use Raven with Dark Metal cards. So we're gonna use Raven with Twin Blade. We're gonna use Wonder Woman with Twin Blade as well, so let's get this going. Should be fine. Like, this man doesn't do anything except for resisting the dot damage. Which is kind of cringe, not gonna lie. 
Because the only team, unless I'm using Beta Club, the only team that does dot damage to you, unless I'm using Beta Club, is the League of Archie team, which usually has a Harley, which reduces your dot damage resistance. So why? Another special one in there. And another one. Oh, might as well super with Raiden, I forget about that. Raven back in. Yeah, this is going very well. Like, this man is melting. Right him back in. It's probably gonna be the last tag again. Okay, there we go. Let's move on to the next fight. For last fight, I'm gonna attempt to kill this man with Pet Ninja Catwoman with Dark Melkarts. I haven't used that in a while, so I'm really not sure if this is gonna be enough. But let's see how it goes. Might as well super move. You got this, got this ass again in the corner, and it's gonna stay here for a bit because we do slow his power generation. Anyway, it's it's a short map. We're gonna get him back to the corner in no time. I think I'm going to do more combo between the third specials. So I feel like I'm doing a lot more with the basic hits than I'm doing with the third special because of the um, Batman Jacketman uh, class passive. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to drop again there. Yeah, he should be dead soon. Hopefully. Okay, and with all that being said, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!